Hi, I'm Arlen Walker, and I'm live from Pelham Wasteland. Today, I have got another episode of March Character Creation Madness for you guys. This time for a game called Reach World. Reach World is a, a really interesting system. Um, it is based off of the Mini Six system, which is based off of Open D6, which is based off of the uh, West End Games Star Wars D6 system. So basically, when you try to do something, you have a handful of six-sided dice. One of them should be a different color because that's your wild die. And you roll that trying to beat a certain target number. And if your wild die rolls a six, it explodes. So you can hypothetically get, you know, a potentially infinite target number. Although obviously getting six after six after six on the wild die is hard to do. And having a better skill in something and thus more dice to roll generally makes you more effective but it's a very very quick playing system very cool and um you guys know me you know what i like i like my sword and sorcery i like my weird stuff i like my uh muscle powered combat and i like dinosaurs I like dinosaurs a lot when i was a kid what i always wanted was to grow up to be a paleontologist i am not a paleontologist as an adult um but that is okay because I can play role-playing games with dinosaurs in them and that sort of satisfies that itch. And there are dinosaurs. Lots of dinosaurs. There's you know, a whole extra free PDF that has like, I think, eight or nine different dinosaurs in it. Um, really cool stuff. So... We are going to be a human. We are going to allocate dice to attribute. We are not going to be an advanced class. We are going to allocate dice to skills. And then we're probably not going to get any perks. And then we'll collect any complications if we want to. And some gear. So we are going to be a human. It means we get 12 dice for attributes, 7 dice for skills. Our might. Minimum is one die, and our maximum is four die, and that's the same for might, agility, wit, and charm. So let's do, let's get the typewriter. We are going to go 2D for might, 3D for agility, 4D for wit, and 3D for charm. That spends all of our 12 points. And that gives us our um, set of uh, set of stuff. So basically, when we get a skill within one of these fields, we start off with the basic attribute level. So a wit skill will start with four dice to roll. But as we um, add dice to the skill, we'll get even more. So we have no racial perks, no racial complications, no advanced class, uh, no feats. We're going to do our gear down here bit um we are going to go back to the skill list and we're going to choose some skills so we're going to get um stamina e and you're going to get uh brawl to do ability athletics 4d uh hmm computer computer 5d History 5D. Science 5. And. She weighed. Four. All right. That is basically almost everything we do for our character except fill out all of this stuff. 
Um, so we we can do some complications. What could we do for complications? Um, complications. What would be a good complication? Do personal code. Personal code. That will be our complication. And um, that gives us basically, basically we get extra points uh, for upgrading our character as those complications come up. So what do we need? Um, oh, do, do, do. Let's go through. There are a whole bunch of different species, as you can tell. Um, have been a machine man that would be cool you will machine man all right here what do we probably a weapon so Or damage. Ammo. And get added armor. Plus oak. That would be our character. Get maybe. Hmm. We're not going to bother with any. Maybe we'll get a first aid kit as a. On. Um, two vehicles. Lock equals brawl skill dice three plus pips. So brawl is three dice, so that is a nine. Dodge is our dodge, which is also nine. Carry is none right now. Soak six plus one is seven. Move of fifteen. No fate. No character point. Where is full dodge? Oh, full dodge. Add ten to the dodge score. That's a nice. Okay, that is our character. Barring our character name, so we will be Doctor. I'll Winthrop. Malcolm Winthrop, who is a human man, age is middle aged, height is tall, weight is thin. And a uh, scientist studying breach. That is our character. That is Malcolm Winthrop, is uh, a scientist studying the. Who is pretty cool. He's got a pistol, some padded armor, a first aid kit, and he's got some skills. That's all it really takes to to build a character. It's um it's pretty cool. Um Yeah, it's a, it's a really neat system in a lot of ways. Um really plays really quickly. Um runs runs really smoothly. I know there are a lot of people who really like the D6 Star Wars system, the West Indian 
Star Wars system, and this is basically that same system for a sort of gonzo post-apocalyptic game. Let me scroll over the bestiary. See some of the creatures that are available. Reach creatures. Allosaur. So we have an Allosaur, an Allosaur Juvenile, and a Tyrannosaur. That's pretty cool. That's just in the core book. There are more dinosaurs in a free um, extra PDF. Creeps, griffins, hardhats, hoodlums, imps, leechers, maulers, plasma worm, poison bat, prowler beast, trap cats, and a character sheet. So, um, yeah, it's a it's a neat little system, and it's really cheap. This core book, I think, was a dollar on Drive Through RPG. I want to say one dollar. Um, and then the extra stuff that I got for it was all free, I think. Um, or pay what you want, but I got it for free. Um, but it's a yeah, it's a neat little system. It um is pretty cool, and like I said, I really love uh games with dinosaurs in them. So be cool that there is a uh, dinosaur um this game oh so, yeah um i guess that is going to be that so i will end as i oh well first off i will say um if you have gotten this far in march character creation madness thanks for following along with the project um, we are very close to the end. We have only got this will be Sunday's video and then we only have Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I've got some special stuff planned for the last couple of days. Some, some really cool special things to do for character creation with you guys. So um, yeah, it's going to be really cool. So uh, I hope you will stick around for the last couple of episodes of March Character Creation Madness. Um, yeah. All right, I will end as I always do by saying I've been Arlen Walker, I've been live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.